Hi, what's for dinner? We are making spaghetti aglio e olio. I cannot pronounce it at all, but here it is, and this is what it takes. Let's focus, there we go. That's the recipe name. I have a gluten-free pasta, which is like spaghetti. I have a quarter cup, I will chop that up more, of parsley, six cloves of garlic, thinly sliced, and a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And then I also have some um, shaved Parmesan, and I might add a little bit of this uh, Parmesan too. And that is it, I've got the water boiling, and that pan will be for the garlic and oil. So let's go. We are boiling the pasta for about approximately nine minutes or so until it's about one minute shy of al dente. Oops. In the meantime, we are heating up three tablespoons of olive oil to a medium level and so it's sort of shimmery, not too hot or you'll burn the garlic. I've added the red pepper. Make sure you save two cups of the pasta water. So if you drain your pasta, make sure you save two cups of it. And this is still just gently cooking so it does not burn. Burned garlic is bitter and you don't want that. Until it's golden brown, it's just about there. This is the kind of thing you want look like this. The red pepper flakes, the olive oil, and the garlic. I mean seriously, is there anything better than the smell of garlic roasting or whatever sauteing in olive oil? So good. This is just one of those meals that's simple. If you have garlic, olive oil, red pepper flakes, and pasta in your cupboard, and cheese would be nice too if you have a little bit of Parmesan cheese and parsley. The parsley is just, you know, for color more than anything else. It doesn't really taste like much. Um, it's just so simple and it feels like you have had, it's raining. It feels like you've had a huge meal. Let's see, I hear it raining. Oh my gosh, yes, it's pouring. I had no idea it was planning to rain. Oh my gosh. Cool. Yes, this meal with a glass of wine just feels like something special and it's super, super simple. So, yeah. And it can be done gluten free too, which is even better. I'll have to taste one. There's my timer. Remember, we want it about one minute before, you know, shy of al dente because it's going to cook a little more in the other pan. Okay, that's about perfect. That's about perfect. So we want two cups. Turning the heat up a little bit on this. And we want two cups. Oh gosh, my doorbell's ringing. Oh, I got a package. The CPS guy. I waved. 
He is so nice. He also has a dog named Gracie. We're now adding two cups of the pasta water. Just the water to this. And simmer that down about five minutes so it reduces by about half. It's, the pasta water is starchy, so that helps make almost a sauce. So what I got from the UPS guy was this, uh, <laughs> this entire giant box. This julep take a breather. The one I got from QVC was cracked and dried out and horrible. So I bought one from um, Nordstrom and I got it today. Looks like it's in good shape. Let's hope so. Can you hear the rain? I think maybe you can see the sky up there. In the oh my gosh. It's raining really hard. Giant drops. Oh my gosh. Yes. I have to tell you. We had an enormous coyote walk through the backyard along the wood line, you know, where the woods are, right along that line and all the way down past the neighbors and so forth. It was enormous. Coyotes are usually not that big and they're kind of bedraggled looking. This thing looked like it had been fed the best food ever and it was in training. It looked like a German shepherd, but it was a coyote. It was unbelievable. And of course I did not have my camera with me my phone was in the other room and I, I wanted to see it. I wanted to watch it because we're like, is that a coyote? I don't know. It doesn't look like one. We see coyotes walking on our sidewalks. You'd think that that would just be a thing for in like the Southwest or like San Diego where my sister lives. They get coyotes, but no, we get them too. So it's really, really weird. But this one was healthy and huge. So I'm glad Gracie wasn't out there. Can you hear the rain? It's so cozy. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is about to where we need it. Maybe a tiny bit more. Then we'll add our pasta and stir it around. The starch from the water is supposed to make it a bit more um, sauce-like, but because we have gluten-free pasta, it doesn't really work as well. So if you don't do gluten-free, you'll have a much richer sauce, which, you know, I don't, but that's okay. I will like it anyway. And if you are Italian and you know a much better way to make this, please let me know. Just email me a better recipe or something. Um, I love making things as authentically as I can, but this is just what I happen to know and it's pretty darn good. So this is what we do. But I would love to know tips, hints, or whatever to make it more authentic if you um, can help me out. I add black pepper to everything because I love black pepper, but this is not part of the recipe. It's just part of my recipe because that's what I love. Not too darn much, but just enough. Keeping it real, keeping it real. So see all that has turned more into a sauce rather than just water, which is wonderful. It's exactly where you want it to be. And you remove it from the heat, which means I'll turn it off. Then you stir in the parsley, the remaining one tablespoon of olive oil, and toss it to combine, and then add the cheese. So here's, here's a tablespoon of olive oil. Let's add the parsley. Now we add the cheese, the best part. <laughs> I 
Mm, so good. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. That, my friends, is dinner. And there it is. We're tasting it. Do you see the steam coming off of it? Hot, garlicky, cheesy, creamy. What's not to like? <laughs> Delicious. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Bon appetit. <laughs>